Thank you for tuning in to Tanaka TV, the best and future biggest fight channel on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like, that comment, that subscribe button. We're trying to get this channel to over 1K by the end of the year, and we're on track to do that. We are heading up on 900 subs right now. I think we're at about 895, so we're getting there. And, and we're taking the little victories, people. I know it's not as much subscribers as probably other people that y'all watch at the moment. You know, the the, the, the hundred thousanders and the, the, the millionaires. You know, this channel isn't there yet, but we'll get there. And I can't do that without your support. So thank you guys for those who support this channel. And thank you for those who will support this channel in the future. I truly appreciate it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to try to keep this video nice, short, and sweet, and straight to the point. So let's get into it. So John Jones just came out with a recent response to all of the news that's been coming out about him and his altercation with drug testers that have come to his house recently to give him a drug test. Now, if you haven't heard, there were some problems that were happening when they came over to his house. You know, they, they said that he, he was threatening them. He was using a lot of profanity. He was just being very difficult. Now, this is what John Jones' statement, uh, his recent statement that he, that he just put out, in regards to this recent news. He said, I want to address reports about me allegedly threatening a drug tester's life and taking a phone. I want to clarify that there is a video showing both drug testers leaving my home after the testing session where we exchanged a high five and a hug. Although I was frustrated with the unprofessionalism and used profanity out of frustration, it ended friendly and amicably. Nothing threatening at all. I was actually celebrating a friend's birthday party at home, at my home, and I believe it's perfectly normal to celebrate in the comfort of my own home, whatever that means. I must say this particular tester behaved quite unprofessionally and even breached standard protocol along with HIPAA laws. Throughout my 20 years of being subjected to drug tests, I have never encountered such an incident with a DCO officer before. He did come out with one more statement. Let me let me pull that one up for you because I think I think John Jones is on edge about how this happened and the news that are coming out, but it, it's a build up, right people? If this was a a fighter who who is you know who's kept his nose clean no pun intended kept his nose clean throughout his UFC career then he wouldn't feel the need to put out the amount of information and effort to resolve and clear the air right here's one more he said hello everyone I wanted to address some misinformation that has been circulating this morning. I woke up to false reports that I had been arrested. I have not been arrested. In fact, I am currently in Texas with my daughters at a volleyball tournament. I must admit, it's disappointing to have to clarify these things again, but I understand that I may be an easy target given some of the past issues. It's important to set the record straight and Make sure the truth is told. I was recently visited by testers while I was celebrating a birthday and taking a nap. Upon waking up, I was caught off guard and... Hold on. I was caught off guard by the unprofessionalism and protocol by one of the testers, which, is ca which, which caused frustration leading me to use some profanity I regret. However, I want to emphasize that at no point point did I threaten getting anyone's getting anyone's face raise my voice to anyone or engage in any form of assault it's unfortunate that false news has been spread without proper fact checking I want to assure you that I will vigorously defend myself against these baseless accusations the truth is the incident simply 
did not occur. So here's my thought process on this, people, right? I think that John Jones, um, although a phenomenal fighter, although he has a phenomenal fight record, we're talking about the greatest of all time here, people. His standing outside of the octagon has not been clear cut. It has not been a good rap sheet. He is, what, I, I don't remember his record, but he, he's, he's pretty much considered undefeated besides that one crazy little, you know, thing that he had with, with, with the referee and all that kind of, okay. He has built up a reputation, right? He's built up a reputation for causing problems in public and in his private life. And I think when people hear something about John Jones, their jerk reaction because of all the things that have happened with John Jones, his, his people's jerk reaction is to assume that it actually happened. So, John, you, you may be correct. I'm not here to say that he's that this happened or this, that this didn't happen. The point is that people's reaction because of the things that you have done, because of the things that have occurred in your life. They will assume that the worst of the worst actually happened. So maybe you didn't raise your voice. So maybe you didn't threaten them. You did admit to using profanity. And that's not professional, right? I don't know what the testers did that were against protocol, that were against HIPAA laws. Okay, I get that. But it is your job to maintain a certain level of of professionalism no matter what the case is that is your job and i get it you're a fighter and you're you know you're not in the corporate world and things of that nature but you are supposed to hold some sort of decency no matter what happens especially knowing that there are people who are going to assume the worst of you because you have showed the worst of yourself and the worst of yourself is pretty bad. So it would be in his best interest to, to try to show his best self a little bit more, right? These people are coming over to drug test you. Just get it done. Get it done. It's as simple as that. But for you to use profanity, for you to have possibly have threatened a person's life, you said that you were giving high fives and hugs when the people were leaving. I get all of that. But that does not take away the fact that maybe they were trying to show a level of, of you know, professionalism. And that's why they gave you the, the high five and hugs. But they could have definitely have been very uncomfortable with the situation. And that's why this information came out. And I think John Jones' problem is holding himself to a higher standard that's one but also not owning up truly owning up to the things that you do you may apologize you may say i did this I'm, I, I did this wrong i did that wrong but you continue to put yourself in these positions i'm sure you keep your managers busy and so i i truly and I'm going to say this for anybody who finds themselves in bad positions. I truly wish you the best in trying to better yourself. I'm not here to wish the worst upon anybody. However, you've got to you've got to try to show the best of yourself, especially in situations like that. It is good business etiquette, but it is also good for your brand and how people view you. And at the moment, people do not view you in a bright light. Comment down below, people, what you think about the situation. Do you think John is a victim in this situation? Do you, do you side with John Jones? Do you side with the drug testers here? Are you in the middle? And like I said, do you think he's a victim in this? Do you think that 
he is owed some sort of apology. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to hear your thoughts about this. So comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like, that comment, that subscribe button. You have just watched the best and biggest fight channel on YouTube, Tanaka Fight Channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.